my name is Ricky Carmichael. I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Havana, Florida. This is my fourth season as a professional, and here I am. I think, you know, from, from amateur days to now is definitely what I expected, probably a little more. It, uh, it's, a, it's a big jump from amateur to professional, and it's, it's definitely fun. I think uh, the money has gotten a lot better, and, and the fans and the, and the show has gotten a lot better from what I've seen when I was racing amateurs and uh, up till now. Even the four years that I've been racing, I've seen a difference. I think my view on freestyle is it's their own little sport, you know. Uh, they're, they're doing their own thing and we're, we're doing our own thing. I, I, I kind of stay out of it a little bit. I know some of the motocrossers and, and the uh, freestyle guys don't get along and, you know, I don't get into that much. And personally, I like racing better. It's, it's the roots of motocross, but uh, the freestyle guys are definitely uh, taking the tricks to a different level. They're, uh, they're pretty insane. With the competition these days, you know, it's uh, really tough. It's not, it's not easy work at all. It's, it's gotten really hard this year, I think. There's four or five guys that can win. It comes down to not who's the fastest, but who makes the less mistakes. Definitely coming up from the amateur ranks in a couple years is going to be uh, Bubba Stewart. He is one of a kind. The guy is dominating. He wins like by 30 seconds every every race I hear about or watch him. He's a cool kid and he's he's got a flashy style and uh, he's he's awesome pretty much. That's that's all there is to say. The first terra firma there with me, Travis, and Bubba was kind of a little plug-in for us. I think from Fox just wanting to get their amateur guys in there and. Uh, give us our two minutes of stardom, I think, is, is what it was based around, I think, which was cool. You know, we had never been in videos before, and Fox was coming out with the first cool motocross video, and we were, we were sponsored by them and just hooked up, and there we were. We got a place back home called the Dairy Queen, and you get blizzards like uh, chocolate, and vanilla, cookie dough, and Oreos mixed in. I really didn't want to mention the Dairy Queen thing, but because everybody mentions that now, but uh, that was uh, that was funny. I get I catch a lot of flack about that still. Whenever you hey, you remember the first Air Firm at Dairy Queen, man? I, I made it sound like no one has a Dairy Queen in their town when things are nationwide. I think the new motocross video games are awesome. You know, I have my own that THQ makes, which is a championship motocross. Featured by Ricky Carmichael is pretty cool. I, that's the last thing I ever thought of having, you know, as, a, as an amateur, being a professional one day, is having your own video game and going to stores, you know, like Best Buy or whatever, and seeing, seeing your video game in there. It's awesome. It's cool that companies these days can uh, are able to do that for you. I'd say to the little guys coming up that look up to me, I'd give them, just tell them that, you know, listen to their parents, have a good time, and uh, ride as much as they can, and uh, always give it 100%, and uh, if you make it to our level one day, it, it's, it'd definitely be worth, worth the wait, for sure. I just want everyone to remember, yeah, as when I retire, is a good, a good person, fun to watch, you know, fun to, uh, you know, have a good time with and uh, a good ambassador to the sport, you know, and hopefully I'll be able to take it to another level as Jeremy did. That's my plans, at least, and that's what I hope people look, look back at me as.